So another little project I did off camera is I replaced these struts on this ARE cap, which is a real piece of crap. If you're gonna buy a truck cap, never, ever, ever buy ARE. But anyway, that's not the point. That thing leaks a lot from everywhere. All the windows leak. I took it back to the dealer. He told me that's just how they are. Can't do anything about it. So anyway, I took off these old struts and one of them was blown and covered in oil. And the other one still seemed to work okay. And I've been having this problem with this dump trailer. I, I use this old, this is an underbody truck toolbox I got on a, uh, a flatbed that I ended up reselling. But the problem is, you open this to use your controls and get into everything. Well, if you're not paying attention, you bump these cable stays, it falls on your hand. And this lid weighs like 15, 20 pounds, so it really hurts. So what I was thinking was if I have one good strut, maybe I can find a way to support this lid with a strut. And I was thinking about that and I was like, well, I would need to order a hardware kit for these struts because they need these little studs. And while I was working on the this fuel trailer here, that's when I remembered that this trailer was set up. This thing needs... So I don't even use, it has these latches on it um, right here. And I don't even use them. That one's the only one that even has the stud still in it. But what it does have, it has these little brackets because this originally had gas struts that held the lid open and they have long since been completely pulverized. So this one threads in. It'd be nice if I had two of that style, but I don't because the other one's missing over there. But I do have two of these I could probably grind off the angle grinder and that would give me the two studs that I need. If I paid more attention in school, I probably could figure out like the angles at which this would have to be mounted and stuff. But I didn't. So. Alright, I think I, I got this where it could work if I mount this uh, down low up here. And then I'll, I may have to cut the other bracket off. It's not very amenable to stud mounting here. But if I mount the other end like this, off the, the top lid of that, I think that would work. All right, I had to charge the batteries. I didn't want to quit working. So what I went ahead and did, I ground off the other right angle mount. It's right down here if you can see it. These studs are a little loose because they're like a rivet stud. I don't think that'll hurt them. So I went ahead and riveted that in with four rivets to the lid. I riveted this one down here and the angle that it's at, I can only get three rivets in from the top. And if it gets loose or if I think it might need it, um, my cordless drill is not here right now, but I could drill from the bottom and put another couple rivets in. It's just kind of hard. There's not clearance on this side. And because that forms a right angle, there's not much clearance there. But um, even though this battery isn't fully charged, I just wanted to share whatever happens here i have not tried this yet so um we'll see so the way these are held in is with these little uh metal bands and it's really best to wrap them in something and i think i have like here we go so like if you have a leather glove or something like that because when they go they can hurt your hand but they also like to go flying everywhere just ideally want something that can absorb some of that energy all right there's that one off so this one already has one on that end they went flying when I took them off of the uh, when I took them off my truck they are a real pain to get onto these things I don't know if I'll be able to get it back on here with my hands So when you slide a small object in from the top, like a screwdriver would be better, but just using what I have out here. As soon as it pulls those, there you go. See, as soon as it pulls those little metal lips out, that'll pop back in. And the nice part about that is that sometimes you have to muscle these in a place and you can see how it just snaps in. All right. All right. So since that's held in by a lock, 
I don't need that to actually force this close. So that is definitely not gonna fall on my head anymore. Awesome, yes. I tell you, it even fell on me once while I was drilling these rivets. And that's that stuff's all on the, like it's not moving at all. Oh, I'm excited about this. <laughs> you have no idea. When I was working in this thing before, how many times that fell on my head, fell on my hands and smashed it. It's so easy to bump into this. All right. Well, man, I am, uh, I guess the saying is pleased as punch about this. <laughs> because that was so aggravating to have that stupid door falling on my head. And I just knew it was a matter of time before I was sitting here like this and it fell down and broke one of my fingers or something. I mean, this, this lid is maybe eighth inch steel. These are, these are tractor supply and truck boxes. They're tough. I mean, I've seen people use these as jack stands and put trucks on them. So it actually does kind of self-close. That's nice. And then you got your latch. Good to go. So I tell you, I did not know that was going to work. So I am very, very excited to have that working. And it doesn't even look too bad. It still leaves me this whole area in here to work and pull the battery out if I ever need to and stuff. So excellent. I am so glad that I did that. All right, well, the dump trailer really doesn't have a ton left to finish. There's still just a couple things. So, uh, anyway, I am so excited that this works, and I'm going to go find something else to fix.